Hi, welcome to this video on processing cyclovoltammetry data. So let me jump in and say that we're going to discuss um, Julie today. Julie is a way of processing cyclovoltammetry data very quickly. And I have a sort of quick, quick question, um, which is, you know, what is the, one of the most common ways of analyzing cyclovoltammetry data? And I've pulled something from um, the literature where you'll often see this, where you have some cyclovoltammetry and um, they're presenting the peak height as they are doing here as a function of the square root of um, scan rate. This, um, this relationship is kind of, um, is, is, is characterized or defined in the Randall-Savick equation. And what it really says is that the, um, the peak height due to the diffusion of a material is happening in the liquid phase. So it kind of says, look, if your peak height is proportional to the square root of scan rate, then you have a diffusional control process. But this is a very common um, piece of data um, that's presented in the literature and a very common sort of you know, analysis of um, peak height versus the square root of scan rate. What I want to do is actually that now show you um, really how to do this, um, I want to say analysis um, very quickly. Um, so let me sort of basically go on with that. Um, so first of all, I want to say contact us. And the reason I say that is if you want to um, follow this tutorial and do it yourself, then you'll probably best get in the um, Excel file from us. I'll explain the origin of the Excel file um, in a minute. Um, this is the data um, that we're using in this um, demonstration or tutorial. And it's probably worth saying that it comes off a biologics instrument. So biologics, um, they make a lot of potential stats. Um, and um, that data was gathered using that. Now, biologics allow you to export the data as a Excel file. And if you do so, then we can upload it to Julie. Um, so um, today I'll show uploading, I'll show labeling, I'll show tools, and I'll show graphing. So um, let me go. And the outcome of this will be that we'll take this data, we'll be able to use um, Julie to find the um, peak position, peak height, uh, because Julie can do that automatically. And then we can actually plot for um, the data versus the scan rate and look at the um, relationship um, in that. We'll be showing you how to upload the data. Um, as I say, this um, biologics potential stats allow you to um, export as a um, Excel file. And um, we'll also be showing you how to essentially label the data, um, which means you know, um, rather than just having this kind of um, generic group one, group one, group one, we'll be labeling it 10, 25, 50, 100, 150, 200, 500, which is the um, scan rate, the millivolts per second. Um, we'll also be showing you how to change the units um, to scan rates, millivolts per second, um, and to sort of um, the units, sorry, uh, to microamps and the notation to scan rate. We'll also be showing um, that. And we'll also be showing you then how to use the tools in order to show um, extracted data, how to do the peak height, how to help the um, Julie find that peak um, and some statistic evaluation as um, well. So if you want to um, follow this tutorial, obviously contact us and get hold of the data and we'll show you how to go and process um, the data. I'm going to do two demos. Um, slow and fast. First of all, I want to just kind of show you how fast this um, really can be. Um, so let me essentially drag that in. Um, and I will um, just create a, this is Julie, um, you can create a um, an account for Julie, I just want to go fast. Um, it's asking me for more details, but I want to skip all that at the moment. So I've created a um, that's sort of essentially a new reporting here. I want to just upload the data um, very quickly. And um, this is what I'm doing here at the uh, moment. So the um, data is coming up. Um, I want to now show you that I can change these um, default um, values. Um, so rather than having one in there, I'll go 10 um, rather than having um, one in there I'll have 25 because that's I can see it from the file name that that's the scan rate that was um, used I'll change that to 100 and I'll change that to 150 and um, I'll change that to 200 and I'll change that to um, essentially 500 
All right, so I've kind of labeled up um, my data um, accordingly. I think I've got everything correctly there. Um, this is discrete data and it is voltammetry. And I just want to say that the notation is um, scan rate here, and that's um, millivolts per second are the units. I'll just have a, now that I've, um, I've opened up this tab here, I'll just go VD here. Um, voltammetry discrete so we will um, show extracted data we will go peak height I want to sort of help the software oh, Julie um, find the peaks so I know the peaks are approximately about 0.25 that's 250 millivolts and I'll give it a window of about 100 millivolts let me click on reverse here um, let me turn on statistical data I think I've set everything up correctly. I'll just close that. And it's, um, I've only made one mistake and I'll quickly repair it. Um, but I can see it's found the peak heights, um, all great. Um, it's tried to plot it, but what I need to do is I, um, if I come into here, I said fit formula and I left it as the default. I need to say square root. Uh, because um, we sort of know if, if the peak height is um, under diffusional control, then it's actually proportional to the square root of um, peak um, height. And here we are. We can see now that it has plotted um, the um, data and I get a really good fit. I can see statistically that if we plot the data um, using a sort of square root of um the scan rate then we do get a really good um fit so um i'm quite happy with that i'm going to go a um a little bit slower this time um just to make sure that it's really kind of emphasized exactly what we um did so uh, let me go um um uh, again i'll go um slow So on slow, we will um, upload the data. Yeah, done. It's um, again, we will um, label this up. So I'll put 10 in here, 25 in here, um, 50 in here, um, 100 in here. Um, 150 in here, 200 here, oops, a daisy, 500 in here, right, and under properties, it says voltammetry discrete, I will get that um, notation is scan rate, the units are milli volts per second and we will show extracted values we will do peak height again center it at 0 0.25 and um, the window that we'll look in is 0 0.1 i'll make sure this time i actually drop down and do square root that's something i forgot to do um, last time and uh, statistical evaluation sure i'll turn that on and when i close that then um, everything should get acted upon which is great so now it's um processed everything processed everything and um, as before i get you know it's the same thing i just wanted to do it slower and a bit um, um slower and a bit more methodically um and it's done all the analysis um for me so as i say i wanted to do two demos fast and um, slow in terms of so what we've shown you here is that it can be sometimes quite laborious to first of all do that experiment which is fine but once you've got the experiment of um, peak height versus scan rate you know the extraction or the analysis of the data can be quite laborious but here you can see that by uploading it to Julie labeling it turning on a few features we can quickly process the data and find um, the equation for the scan rate versus um, peak height um, and as you saw, we also did that with biologic, um, soft, I'm sorry, 
data from the biologic potential stat. So you can see that Julie is also compatible with the um, biologic potential stat. So if you have any questions or you want the data, please reach out to us at Zimmer and Peacock. Okay, thanks very much.